Hi guys, this is Rachel with Rachel's Reviews, and for the next month or so, I'm going to try to put up some movie reviews of movies that I feel are underrated and are worth your time to go and check out, and I think that you'll really enjoy. And today, I want to talk about the 2000 movie Return to Me. Return to Me is a charming romantic comedy, and it is a very great cast, an ensemble cast. And it was written by Bonnie Hunt, who also is a supporting uh, member of the cast. And it stars David Duchovny and Minnie Driver. And David Duchovny plays a man whose wife dies uh, of, and I don't think that's a spoiler, it's, it, it's uh, kind of important to talk about the movie, that the, his wife dies and uh, Minnie Driver is awaiting a transplant, and Minnie Driver ends up getting the heart of David Duchovny's wife uh, in the transplant, and then they meet. And so there's this, you know, connection between the two that they don't really know about, and it's all about kind of their their getting to know each other, and this this thing that uh, they have in common. So. The, uh, the writing is really good. Bonnie Hunt did a great job of uh, making it funny without being crass, without being vulgar. You don't, it's not one of those romantic comedies where everybody hates each other and everybody's vile and then, oh, maybe they're really attracted to each other, they really love each other uh, inside. I, I hate I hate that I, for the most part. I mean, Pride and Prejudice could do it, but most of the time that's a failure, I feel like. With Return to Me, it totally works and have just a, a great couple that you want to see get together good people that you love and it also like i said has such a strong ensemble cast uh the uh, carol connor plays uh marty uh grace's many driver's grandpa who's taking care of her and uh and the bonnie hunt character and they run a irish italian restaurant in chicago with her uncle, who is Bonnie Hunt's father or grandfather, and there's this sort of troop of old men that all help run the restaurant and kind of provide commentary throughout the movie. They're really funny. Uh, they debate about who's the greatest ball player, who's the greatest uh, singer, and they they love the classics, the standards. The music in this movie is so great. Uh, great Frank Sinatra, great Dean Martin, uh, and so many, you know, other greats of that sort of Amer great American songbook. And uh, there also has in it David Allen Greer plays David Duchovny's best friend, and he's he's really good. They have good chemistry. You believe them as friends. Uh, and Bonnie Hunt and Minnie Driver do feel like sisters, and have a great chemistry. Uh, uh, James Belushi is in the movie. He's funny. Definitely, I think, the funniest he's been in a movie. Uh, and he plays Bonnie Hunt's husband, and they're really good. And it's just such an innocent, fun movie. Uh, it, it, well, it's very sad at times, but it's also very charming. That's the word. Charming. It's a very charming movie. And I love the fact that they could actually fall in love, and he doesn't even realize that she has a massive scar on her chest. Like, that's how tame and innocent the movie is, but I totally buy it, and uh, it's a movie that you could watch with the whole family. The only thing in the movie that might be of concern to parents or to uh, people that are careful with their movies is the Bonnie Hunt and the uh, James Belushi characters. Uh, it's kind of a recurring joke that they swear around their kids, and then the kids say the swear words. So that is pretty much the only thing in the movie that you could find offensive of any kind but it is it's so well done it's like I said it's just charming and I, I love all the characters it feels like a family they did a very good, good job at just creating a, a group of actors that feel like they're related to each other feel like a family I, I just love it it's the movie that if I made a movie it would be the kind of movie I would want to make because I think it is so well written, I think it is funny, and I, I think it's really romantic. 
and a uh, great great chemistry between Driver and Duchovny. Uh, I think it handles the, uh, the the beginning, the sad part at the beginning, very well. You definitely feel for the character. It's not just some kind of throwaway experience. Uh, it's beautifully shot uh, in uh, Chicago and then also in uh, in Rome, which is is neat to see that they actually went to Rome, even though it's only for a few shots. I I just I just love it. So go find it, check it out. Let me know what you think. And I I was shocked if you you're not as charmed as I am. Let me know what you think. I'd be very curious. So please subscribe to my channel. I, I'm going to try to do more of these reviews. The movie reviews take me a long time to do, and they're a lot more work, but I enjoy doing them. would like to do even more. So if you have a movie that you'd like me to review, let me know, and I'd be happy to take a look as long as it's uh, appropriate. As far as the clean content on this movie, I would say it's a B+. Plus. Like I said, it's just the language uh, in, in a few scenes uh, that anybody would have a problem with. And uh, it's I would give it an A plus as far as overall grade. I love it.